Okay, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. And, uh, let me turn my computer down a bit. Alright. No, Mr. Prime Minister! We mustn't, if the people ever find out! I don't care what they might think. Uh, what do you... What do the plebeian masses understand anyway? Certainly not love. What is this Prime Minister talking about? I've never even heard of the word plebeian. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Okay. Ready? And then you gotta get into that windmill. Go! Get into it. Okay. I'm in! Okay. Ready? Now! Aha! Success! Oh, there it is. Oh, and you gotta get in the dictionary. Thank you. But it's strange. I know I left this, this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Oh, wait. I don't think you have the screen thing set up properly for the bottom. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yet. Oh, well. Perhaps my darling angel. All right, we're getting closer. No, don't put me down there! Oh, this is the new character. Let's, uh, pan over. It's a little girl. I see. I, I, come Just on. get a water bag over there. Oh, what is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, Mama! You poor dear, and no wonder with a fever of 102. Here is, here is to a night of fever hotter than the love of my Prime Minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. I take the night off. Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go. I pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt on here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. <laughs> hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Are we gonna celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Oh, wait! I just have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? You know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. Wank. I hate you, Mama! Ding! <laughs> New info added. These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. It sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Okay, we gotta find a way to get to that. Okay, the only thing I can possess here is this lamp. Let's wait for her to sit down. Oh, I wonder. My, da my darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence? To be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with a whip of fashion! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds kinky. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn the light out. Right. Oh, oh, what's going on? I made a typo! Oh, wait! I missed my chance. 
Oh. I, I Cecil's just gonna be like, I need to get in that rolled up paper. The telephone's right over there. If only I could get to it. I just need to jump over somehow. Better keep my eyes open. Okay. Um, so she's gonna turn the light back on. With her ass. <laughs> With her ass. Okay. Now we've just gotta wait for her to. Okay. Trick. Um, wait, no, that's the book. Yeah, she's gonna throw another piece of paper. You just gotta wait for the paper. What's going on? Oh my, I made a typo. There! That's our path. Crumple me up and throw me. Throw me. The telephone! Yeah! Da -da -da -da. Oh. No, oh, that wasn't too hard. Did that in about six minutes. Yay! Hello? Is that you? How many times are we going to t make you tell you tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline? Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can't write your novel just as well- uh, You can write you can write at home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming who? Even if that means forever! Let me talk to Amelia. Amelie? That's a great name. Uh, then at least... You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to get the paper! Now I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a moment. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer! What the hell? Trace complete. We're out of here. Lady Red's apartment. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, so her name. Oh, is her Lady... name is Lady Red. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my own lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. Letters in red. Oh, gee. I don't know if that was a. Just, just do the trick, buddy. We need to go to the junkyard. Uh, okay. No. Uh, troubled man's off. We don't want to go there. Ah, uh, here uh, we go. There it is. Junkyard. Going to the junkyard. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Surfing the phone lines. Uh, not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Oh, dude, I think he's showing up soon! One of my favorite characters! Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. <laughs> There's our friend Ray over there. And besides them, a certain someone else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Uh, welcome back. You you weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So, you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Excuse me. <laughs> flashback for everyone. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger, not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lab. Hmm, I'd better see what I can find out. Trick time! Quite a thing, huh? This case. Yeah, one, one of our own, a murderer. Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie too. I, I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. 
Yeah, I, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm, I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. <laughs> like me. <laughs> okay. Let's move out. Over here. Um, wow. Well, uh, I guess I'll go to land. Or, or I could go anywhere. Actually, I think they might want to talk again. Yeah, like I said. I think we can safely assume that the cause of death was the bullet he took to the chip in the chest. No shit. Wait, it's a blue person. He must be evil. Yeah. You bring the stretcher. I'll look. Into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cab Cabanella. Cabanella, head of the special investigation unit, is on his way now. Special investigation unit? What do they want at a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella is our top investigator. <laughs> we don't want to get. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape, or there'll be hell to pay. Mm, I don't see what that has to do with me. I didn't really get what Cabanella wants to come for, either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never, never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait. He's here! I love you! I love this guy. He's awesome. <laughs> ah, the tension of the crime scene. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, nothing like it, baby. Watch him in his super sexy strut. <laughs> Do the sexy strut down the stairs. <laughs> I love his animation. It's awesome. Do the sexy strut. Do your spin. Oh, maybe he's not going to do it. Evening, evening, boss. How's it looking? Inspector Cavanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that to... You just hold that thought. I want to make a little phone call first. There it is. There is his spin. <laughs> so, this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. He seems, uh, unique. <laughs> Trick time. I gotta get back to that phone. See who he's talking to. Damn me the deal! How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going very well. About fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's going alright. Newt the man I... Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fella. <laughs> if it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes. <laughs> Homeless guy. All right. Sorry about that, Inspector. I got. I just got here. Well. Glad to hear you made it! That, uh, that other fella just about threw me for a loop. And started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. <laughs> yes, him. Uh, sorry about that. Well, start doing your skating out thing. Stake, staking out. Staking out thing, baby. Sorry. 
and bust me up if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Click. Trace complete. Park park. Uh, now then, sir, if I may make my report, sir. He's talking like that other, other guy. Yeah. Doc! Yahoo! Oh, Doc! Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see if the I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Sup super's office, eh? Super! <laughs> Wait. Super! Super! Frankie! And where's that? Just, I have no idea who's talking right now, just beyond where you parked, your bicycle inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Carry on, boys! Good luck, sir! Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. I think my voice for him is a little bit more energetic than what you had in mind. <laughs> well, it's different, I'll give you that. Ugh. Trick time! I'm just trying to match the voice to the words on screen. I guess I'll see what this guy has to say. <sighs> that Inspector Cabanella, he sure has a strange air about him. You could say that again. And I've never seen anybody use the stairs the way he does. He does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same array way. Airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Okay, no one's saying anything? Good. Well, we'll just stop the episode here. See you next time for more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective! <laughs>